Johnson's team produced an unusual design, a lightweight, glider-like aircraft with an enormous wingspan stretching over 100 feet. Its single engine was powerful enough to push it into the stratosphere, but the aircraft had to remain feather-light, so much so that its frame was fragile and challenging to fly. The CIA quickly partnered with the U.S. Air Force to bring Johnson's design to life. The first test flights began in 1955, and by 1956 the U-2 was operational. From the start, pilots described the U-2 as one of the most difficult aircraft to master. It was nicknamed a Dragon Lady because it was temperamental and unforgiving. Landing it was particularly tricky. The long wings created a cushion of air that made it float. So chase cars had to speed down the runway alongside it, guiding the pilot down with hand signals. In June 1956, the first U-2 flights over the Soviet Union began under Project